Hi, how y'all doing? It is Saturday. What's the date today? The 5th or the 6th? I know, I know. Don't say it, I know. It's the 5th of October 2024. In Ontario, Canada, where I am, the skies are blue. There was clouds in the rising, right? Hanging around suspiciously, especially when some were purple and the rest were white, right? I was like, yeah, that's not suspicious at all. I wouldn't think anything of that. I'm being sarcastic, right? The Schumann's at 39 today. So up from yesterday for sure. There's a lot of movement going on around outside. I was just checking to see what it is. What's with the color of my roof? Weird. So, what did I do? I slept really well last night. I went to sleep fast, just like I used to, right? Closed my eyes, talked to Source, and I was out. I slept pretty good, only woke up once, but I've been up since 6.30. And that's okay too, right? I can't, I dreamt, but I, I don't recall any of them. And, yeah, I felt like it was a high-vibe day, right? I still have icky sensations in my body, my spine, and my leg, my foot, right? My neck. Pressure in my head, but different than yesterday. Not so much. It's weird since the shima was lower yesterday. But, yeah, it was kind of a feel-good day for me. Mind, body, and soul, right? My favorite YouTuber. Or speaker chief Rod Hayes did a live on Facebook so I got to watch that right I like talk, listening to people who tell the truth I really do just like people like to listen to me right because I only speak the truth so yeah and then I had to go to a store just for a minute and uh, there was a man in the line behind me and I didn't realize it until I turned around to walk out. He was so like this, right? And I was like, whoa. And I said out loud, grumpy old man, right? And I walked away. I didn't mean to, right? It just came out of my mouth. Yeah, I don't have a filter, I guess, anymore. So then I came home. But before that, you know, it was after that. I seen a, couple, a whole bunch of teenagers walking down the street fighting. Right? I could hear them yelling and swearing and, you know, one girl was pushing a guy, a smaller guy or boy, right? You know, like pushing at him, right? And I thought, man, right? Aren't you people lovely? So, yeah, two grumpy people today. And I've heard the sirens twice. And I know it's a high pressure day. I can feel it. I'm vibrating. Right? I noticed this too the last time I was out when I go to talk to people. I feel like I'm going really fast. Right? It's almost like nervous. But there's nothing to be nervous about. Right? I must be picking it up from the collective consciousness. Or it's part of the upload, upgrade. Right? We're getting uploaded again. We're in a new moon phase too. The waxing crescent, I believe. It's about fine tune. Refine. You know, I don't like RE in front of a word. Fine tune. Alright. Let's make things better. I've been watching videos about health today on YouTube, right? To do with uh, back butt piriformis pain. Back butt leg piriformis pain and watch this Chinese man doing massage. He's been doing it ever since he was young, his whole life, right? And he starts from the bottom up. And if you go to a massage therapist, they start from the top down. He says, that's the wrong way. You got to move the energy up, right? So I thought that was really interesting. Unfortunately, he's in China or I'd go see him. I would. And if you book a massage somewhere and you tell them, well, I'd like you to start from the bottom and massage up, they probably won't because that's not the way they were taught, 
right? And it's so very important to everybody's ego that they uh, be scholastic masturbators, right? And not to have an open mind and think maybe it would be better in a different way, right? Not just what they read or how they were taught. Because those people who taught them were probably doing it wrong. So, yeah, you have to have an open mind, right? Try things a different or different things out. Try things a different way. That's what I would say, right? What do they say? If you do the same, uh, a lot of uh, stupid. <laughs> this is what I say. Stupid people do the same thing every day and expect a different result. All right? It's not gonna work. So, yeah. I noticed too, was it yesterday and the day before, every time I looked outside, I thought it was my glasses, right, that was doing it to me. Because every time I looked outside, I could see like these lines coming down from the sky, right? I even cleaned my glasses and put them back on. I was like, yeah, no, it's not the glasses, right? Took my glasses off. I'm like, no, it's not the glasses. And I was like, what the heck is that, right? All these lines shooting down like diagonally from the sky all right the matrix breaking the dome a ship hmm. take your pick right i was watching bit i can never remember his channel's name big james me tv and he's been seeing stuff in the sky too actually i did a still shot of a uh, of our uh, airport camera in the rise today and there was two suns right and a bunch of other circles in the picture that were not photo not not uh, lens flares right because they weren't there in all the photos or all the pictures so there's stuff hanging around they're doing stuff right Oh boy, temperature is about 17 today too. There's that number, 17. What are my lucky numbers? It's the day I was born, right? I can't remember when I was 17 years old, what did I do? I can't remember. I think I blocked a lot of my, my youth out because it was so chaotic and I wasn't being a very nice person back then. I wasn't. I was a thief, right? I was the best B N E artist you could find. I could get in anywhere and out, right? Not that I'm proud of it, but I never got caught. And I gave it up, though, when I was 19 years old. And I got pregnant with my first child. And I was like, well, it's this or that. Choose. And I chose to be a mother, right? And I gave up the life of crime. I turned over a new leaf and I became a good person, you know, I never stole again. It was just that easy. Make up my mind and do it, right? I was very angry, young woman, very angry, right? So much bad had happened, not just to me, but to the people I loved too. And this is how I dealt with it, right? <laughs> it was my avenue to express myself, shall we say, All right? Yeah wasn't perfect by no means i was not perfect i got grew into it like a fine wine get better with time right that's why there's a saying like that there's an idea too about that uh port strike that's going on in the united states i'm not sure if it's in canada or not i think it's just in the u.s but there's a couple of reasons for that right as uh all the ports have been closed for a long time now because it's the end to this conjure, to this war, and it's part of the uh, closing of the closing of the time. Well, I can't remember the right word for that, but all these things have to be stopped, all right? So now what they're doing is uh, searching all those cargo ships for little ones, trafficking, human trafficking, all right? And why do the grocery stores have to go empty? Because all their food is poisoned, just like ours, 
and it's got to be cleaned out. So the shell's got to go empty, right? And these rich MFs, you know, don't want to lose their money. So they let you buy it all up until they bring the new stuff in, right? Aren't corporations just wonderful? Not. <laughs> Not at all. It'd be nice to know if there was good ones. Instead of just greedy MFers. You know? I've always had a problem with the super rich. Now I know why. Right? I do. If there's good ones, they should show themselves and help, help mankind and nature kind. Right? That's just the way I feel about it. I don't like cowards either. So, yeah. So there's two reasons for, or three reasons for the ports to be closed, right? People just hearing about it now on a strike, right? Like, what's been coming through is just ships, cargo ships that they've already clean, went through, cleaned out, and emptied and sent on their way, right? Because when was it 2020? Or was it 2021 when all the ships were out in the ocean around uh, the coast down south and up here, Canada, on both sides, right, east and west? No, but none of them are going, or they were all lined up to come into port, right? And everybody was wondering what happened or why they were just there, right? And it was during the time of the vid, the lockdown, right? So they've gone quite a few, through quite a few by now, right? And what this, this is, this is the tail end, I'm thinking, you know? So yeah, hopefully they've rescued everybody. And we don't know if they were unlived or living. So every, the truth has to come out about everything. So we will find out, right? We will. And the people that are awake are fortunate because when it crashes it's going to crash hard it's going to be like rod says shock and awe right so whatever you think that means that's what's going to happen to the sleepers they're going to be shocked and then it's going to be oh <laughs> i know it's not funny it's not because I could be a bit strange. I can. I haven't spoke to just that one person today at the store, right? And I come home and I've been by myself all day. I thought maybe I should go out and find something to do. Maybe I should go visit my sister. Maybe I should go buy myself a body pillow to see about, you know, different sleeping positions for my leg. And I just didn't. I was like, why? People are angry out there. I've been watching them all day out my window and listening to them. All right? The kids were out there making noise. But it wasn't a happy noise. You know? It wasn't. They were... Everybody's wired, feels like. All right? They're all wired up. So, I figured it would be just better to stay at home. And they go out and have the chance I might get into an altercation with somebody because I'm not going to shut up. I don't, you know, I just, that's not me. I don't go along to get along because it's my world. Nobody's more important. Nobody's worse than I am and nobody's better than I am. All right. That's the way it is. I've seen a bunch of little birds flittering around again out there. And another one seagull. I heard a raven too, but I didn't see it. I had my back to the window. And I was like, I hear you. You know, if it was meant for me, I would have seen it. That's how it works. You don't look for it. They just show up in your vision, right? So yeah, I hope everybody's feeling a little bit more high vibrational today. You know, I feel a lot better than I was yesterday. For sure, for sure. I am, right? That 555 was to show me I was going to feel better, I suppose, you know? It's change. It needs change, right? So, yeah. 
I noticed too, Rod on his Facebook has 8,880 uh, followers, whatever. I don't like that word. But yeah, on his Facebook. And I was like, how about that 888 abundance, right? Pretty cool. So yeah, the numbers just pop out at you when you meant to see them, right? They do. Have you been watching the signs? Watching for the signs? I've been popping out, jumping out at you. They do to me when I meant to see them. I see them. And I acknowledge it. I thank Source. I do. And I think, what was I thinking about when I seen that? Right? All right. The cat, the felines here have been quiet all day. I just hear them starting to move around now. They were feeling it yesterday too. They were. They were. They weren't moving at all. The one cat looked like it was crying. All right. I told my son about it. He went down and checked on her. She was. He's like, she's okay. She's okay. All right. So yeah. My son was supposed to come. The well, third son was supposed to come today, but he didn't show up. So must have stuff going on in his life. Be nice if you just send me a text and say I'll talk to you tomorrow or something like that. But not everybody's thoughtful like me, right? Or not. All right, it's Saturday, so I hope you're all having a good weekend. And to your week. I hope tomorrow's a really good day too. I think here it's supposed to be cloudy. That's that geometric storm, geomagnetic storm that's coming in from the CMEs, right? They keep on popping off. They do, but at least this one. Well, see, it's not the CMEs that really hurt me. It's the earthquakes and stuff like that. My body hasn't cramped up for three days now. Pretty cool. I like it considering I went through weeks and weeks of it. And it was horrid, really. But I also started taking B1 three days ago, too. So I don't know. I have to wait and see how everything works out, right? Right. All right. That's enough of me. Sending you love, joy, sanity. I am. Um, I love you all as a consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. Bye.